Hi, my name is Emily Wilson, Senior Art Curator at the C.M. Russell Museum. Today I'm going to give you a closer look at some of my favorite objects, Russell's gnomes or guardian figures. So let's take a look. Here are three of Russell's famous gnomes, as I refer to them, but Russell is only um, recorded in an illustrated letter talking about them once, and he refers to them as his guardians. And these he stationed throughout the trails of Bullhead Lodge and the posts to keep watch, as he writes, over the place and kind of spread their magic. You can see here this little illustration that was taken from one of his letters where he says um, his two main gnomes were caught falling asleep on duty and then you have the little skunks and the rats and the mice banging away at his cabin and making noise and doing dances and kind of tearing it apart so he really had fun with these creatures um, and I think that really shows this sort of the spirit of Bullhead Lodge and Russell so let me just talk a little bit more about Bullhead Lodge and you can see some photographs from there of Russell and his friends. Bullhead Lodge, uh, he bought a parcel of land from the Apgar brothers on Lake McDonald in what was later become Glacier National Park in 1910. And in, he did that in 1905. In 1906, they built a cabin, which they later nicknamed Bullhead Lodge because of his famous signature. And for almost every summer between 1906 and 1926, Russell would visit there, and he'd often have so many visitors throughout the summer. They'd relax, go on hikes, walk, paint, and just kind of enjoy the wilderness and get away from the hustle and bustle of the cities and their, you know, heavy travel schedule that Nancy put Russell on. And um, this middle picture that I had just shown you, I think is perhaps of Catherine Layton, one of the female artists that came to see Russell. But there you can see on the post sitting was one of Russell's famous gnomes, gnomes keeping watch. But what I really love about these was that you can really see Russell's humor, uh, his fun personality, really come out in these. And, uh, you know, he really dug throughout the landscape of park to build these gnomes. He took the moss from the trees, the bark from the woods, you know, sticks lying around, painted them, put his brand on their shields, and kind of really made them, you know, important characters that really brought Bullhead Lodge to life and really has this sort of magic about it. And um, I really, some of my favorite artworks really of Russell's are the ones that weren't for sale in the mass market, that he just gave away to friends or used for his own creativity and own delight. And certainly the gnomes are at the top of my list for these. Again, just beautifully crafted. And you can only imagine what they look like at their peak. We usually have these gnomes out um, on exhibition, usually in some version, either once a year. This past fall, they were out in our exhibition, uh, Many Storied Mountains, the artwork of Glacier National Park where you can get to see a few. Now these are the large ones, but we also have little small ones that Russell did as well. But if you aren't here when the gnomes are out, there are a few other places where you can see some. And so let's go take a quick visit. Welcome to the inside of the C.M. Russell studio. Like I said, if you miss the gnomes out on view, we don't have them up. Here is another great substitute where you can see some. We engaged a local artist, fine artist, Bruce Morgan, to create some repl replicas for us of the gnomes that were in Russell's studio. So here are a few. You can see he's also done this great canoe. And then up here at the top, that I refer to similar to the pirate gnome that Russell did. And then we have this great one right here. So even if you can't see the originals, these are the next best thing. 
And if you want a gnome of your own, there's one more place to look. Let's go see the museum store. And now we're in the museum store where if you'd like to buy a gnome of your own made by Bruce Morgan for your home decor or to guard your house, you can just contact our store and we'll get one to you. But if you don't have the funds, just go to, to your own backyard, park or woods, scavenge and create your own. We'd love to see them. Take care from the CM Russell Museum. <laughs>